Um, that helps. That's better. Hey guys, welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching today. I have another auction car. And uh, I just literally filmed the Mazda 6 vlog. Now, we're going to look at one of my all-time favorite trucks, because we have one. And it's going to auction, but it's cleaned. It's all cleaned up. And this will be the first time I'm actually looking at it. So... Let's take a look at this truck and I'll tell you exactly why it is one of my all-time favorite vehicles. Once you see what it is, you're probably going to know where I'm going with this. So here it is, and before I say a word, like I said, you probably know exactly why this is one of my favorite vehicles uh, ever, but this is a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500. This is back when... Chrysler actually had the Ram name under the Dodge belt and not as its own, you know, brand. This is also the truck that was used in the movie, say it with me, Twister. And Twister is one of my all-time favorite movies. I love tornadoes, I love severe weather, but this truck just made it seem like you were invincible. <laughs> You were invincible um, in a Dodge Ram, obviously. To this day, I'm still not 100% sure which Ram they used. I know it was this generation. It probably was a 2500. I don't know, but I mean, this this truck is higher. It's got the wheels that were similar to the truck that was used on the uh, that they used in Twister. So I, I'm not 100% sure. But this is the uh, this is the Ram that was somewhat redesigned on the inside. I think they did that for 1998. So this has the updated interior, and I th I think either 2001 or 2002 was the last year that they made them like this. But this they look good now. But this this was such an iconic look, in my opinion when it came to the Ram trucks. In particular with this truck here, I love this color. Actually, I like both of these colors. These are these are nice colors. Unfortunately, the damages on this truck are obviously not keeping this truck here. But it was a nice truck at one time. see how it's just in there and somebody tried to paint the bottom of it to cover up the holes maybe this one has the turbo diesel the Cummins turbo diesel it's uh, an SLT Laramie model so it should be pretty pretty dressed up on the inside let's take a quick look uh, the classic Chrysler fabric of yesteryears. I don't know why that's here, but maybe the seat was wet, maybe they had to clean it. Uh, look at this. I love the fabric. I love, <laughs> you know, nostalgic me. Keys in it, because it's ready to go to auction. Got the classic Ram insignia on the old style Chrysler key. It's also got keyless entry. Let's fold this down. Is it open? Yep. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's got some aftermarket stuff on it. <sighs> Ooh, this is a nice high position. I'll tell you that. Uh, steering lock doesn't work. Well, I don't know. I forget. Some Chryslers didn't have steering locks back in the day. Uh, like I said, this is the updated interior setup. This is the updated dashboard design. Classic Chrysler chime. I love it. Uh, 
Uh, 110,000 miles. Wait to start. I like the gauge design. Headlights there, wiper controls on the turn signal stock, cruise. What if the air works? Probably not. Oh, it's on the heat. CD and cassette player. I don't think all of the speakers work. Back when you had to use a key to turn the airbag off and on for the passenger. <laughs> uh, cigarette lighters in there. Storage pocket, power outlets, cup holders. Nice big hole in the dashboard. Oh, the whole dashboard's cracked. Yeah, sun damage, probably. Oh, it's got the manual too. Actually, it's got the original window sticker. Oh my word. Look at that. It's all stuck together. 36,000 six hundred and twenty five dollars new Wow that's pretty awesome that that's here uh, garage door opener thing put your garage door in there sunglass holder map lights they one doesn't work of course, it's got four-wheel drive. Okay, shut that off now since I don't want to keep it running. I'll try and take a look at this diesel real quick. Does this have the? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, don't think it works. Is it locked? Nope. I just don't think it works. Try the other side. There it goes. Yeah, the back seats are up. Bottle jack. <laughs> cool. Manual venting windows. <laughs> I remember those. Wow. So I think it's a five five point nine liter. Uh, you don't remember? Is there a? Uh, I don't think there's a sticker on here anywhere. Yeah, I, I want to say it's a five point nine liter turbo diesel. I used to have a Ram book. Actually, I think I have one for this uh, this year. I'll have to see if I can find it. God, the hood feels so tall. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's heavy. It's like, it doesn't have shocks. It's like those hinges, spring hinges or something. It does have a cord for a uh, engine block heater, probably for the diesel coils. Oh. Oh. I think the hood 
close? Did it close? No. Does it close? Maybe the release doesn't work. Maybe it was opened up this whole time. This is why it's going to auction, folks. <laughs> I think I got it that time. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like the Dodge Ram, the old Dodge Rams, or current Dodge Ram, doesn't matter. Love, hate, whatever. Give it a thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe. Don't forget to check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my! Oh! It gets me every time. <laughs> Sorry.